Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my November favorites. Um, I know it's a little bit before December, but I wanted to take advantage of the good lighting that I had. Um, I'm going to be getting a new lighting system in the new year. That is my first kind of priority and purchase for myself in the new year. And um, that way, it doesn't matter what time of day or what it's like outside, I'll be able to film because uh, right now I'm really relying on the sunlight and it is the winter time and it can be few and far between that the sun decides to shine. I want to say a really big happy Thanksgiving to my American subscribers. I hope you guys are having a great day and you're just surrounded by people that you love. Uh, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday and um, I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do and uh, get nice and full and have a just a great time. So. With that, I'm going to jump right into my November favorites. I don't have too many things. Um, I haven't done a lot of purchasing as it is the holidays and uh, my money is being put elsewhere. But I'm going to start off with this, which probably won't be shocking, but it is my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. Um, if you don't have this or you haven't seen it, which I doubt, it looks like this. It just has what, 4, 8, 12, 20 eyeshadows in it and they're just gorgeous. Um, I wish it had matte shadows more than what it does. I think there's only two matte shadows in the whole palette. So I usually have to use this with accompanying matte shadows, but I don't care. It's worth it. And I have a blast with this palette. I did a tutorial with it and I will have that linked below. So you should check it out in my description bar. Um, the next one is a MAC eyeshadow. I picked this up when I recently did some back to MAC and I really love it. It's I don't know how to pronounce it. It's H-A-U-X. So it's either hoax or ho. You know, the U-X would be silent. But anyways, this is what it looks like. It's like a rosy taupe color. Um, this is what I have in my uh, outer V area. Um, I've had my makeup on since 7 a.m. this morning and it's now almost 4 p.m. So um, I love MAC shadows. They really stay on. But I'm obsessed obsessed with this. I wear this almost with every single look. I try to find a reason to wear it with almost every single look and I just, I love it. And if you don't have this, it's a permanent shade. So if you don't have this already, I would definitely suggest purchasing it. It's a satin finish. I thought it was matte, but I really like the satin finishes by MAC because they look matte, but they're really creamy and really blendable. So um, they're great for transition colors as well. The next one is a foundation. This has been my holy grail foundation for the winter time. Um, my, my favorite foundation of all time is the Lancome Tint Idol, but I'm running low on it and I really don't want to replace it right now because it's expensive. So uh, this one has just been amazing for the winter time. If you have oily skin right now or ever, this foundation will not work for you. It'll slide right off. This is a gel based foundation. So um, it's, it's just, you know, it's not going to do for you what it would do for someone with uh, dr normal to dry skin. So if you have dry skin or normal skin, this one works really well. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Gel Foundation, 16 hour wear. I did a first impression on this and the only issue I had with it was uh, an issue with my nose, which if you saw the video, I didn't know if that was attributed to my sunburn or not, but, um, after that healed, this nothing this has been on since what like I said 7 7 7 30 this morning what is on eyeshadow uh, this is why I can't have nice things look at that my goodness um Denver is whining in the background but anyways this has been on since 7 a.m. I don't have any setting spray on I totally forgot this morning this foundation has medium coverage and you could definitely build it up so but I just keep it with one layer and my actual favorite tool to apply this with is my fingers. Uh, it's so creamy and so blendable. It's great for really early in the morning like me when you have to get ready for work and you just don't want to be bothered. It's perfect. It really lasts and I can't say enough great things about this foundation. So if you're having difficulty with dryness in the winter time or at any time I guess, uh, definitely check out this foundation. Um, it's really, really, really wonderful. Uh, yeah, and like I said, I have a first impressions on it, so you can definitely check that out. The next thing is a blush. This blush I wasn't sure about, and now I love it. Um, it's by Yves Saint Laurent, and it's called Palette Couture Highlighting Powder for the complexion. Now, I don't know who this is going to highlight, even dark skin tones, um, but apparently it's a highlight, but I use it as a blush. 
Uh, it looks like this. It's got the three colors. I used it in the same tutorial that I used my Vice 2 palette in. I'm pretty sure that that's the same tutorial I used it in. Or, no, no, I used it in my Get Ready With Me Fire Eyes one recently. That's the one I used it in. That's right. Uh, but anyways, this is a beautiful blush. It's like you mix all three together and it's like this beautiful terracotta color, which I didn't think was going to work with my skin tone, but it really does. It's really natural and light. And if I use this, I don't use a bronzer, like, at all. Like, so today I have a bronzer on, but if I use this, I find it tends to look a little... I look orange if I use a bronzer with it. So if I go with this, I go bronzer free and it's fine. And um, I really, really like it. So definitely would suggest checking that color out. Which, by the way, I don't know the color of it because um, it doesn't have one. It just says highlighting powder for the complexion. Let's see, hold on. All the glare, but oh well. All right, <laughs> next is an eyeliner. Now I saw Suculum seventy nine use this in a video. A uh, while back and I was like I need that I need that immediately in my life and when I was at the recent iMats I picked it up and it was only eight dollars and now for eight dollars I will have perfect black liquid liner for the rest of my life pretty much um, it is a face paint basically this is a hydra color face art and special effects face paint it is 100% opaque black non streaky amazingness just amazingness um, so that's what it looks like you can see there's a little glare on it from where I wet it so what I do is um, it's like dry and like almost like sticky so I uh, spray um, just a t almost like a half spritz of um, fix plus by Mac onto it and then I use a really beautiful fine you know, almost like an art brush eyeliner, like a really fine one, and I mix it in. Synthetic works best, and I can draw my cat liner to whatever sharpness or thickness that I want, and it stays all day. The only thing is, it is not waterproof at all. So if you suffer from watery eyes, or if you're having a day like once in a while, I'll get a watery eye, I will not use this because it'll run down your face. All right. Next thing I have is this brush. This is my e.l.f. blush brush, and this is tiny. See how tiny it is? I'm obsessed with this brush for highlight. I love the tapered point of this. This would be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful for contouring as well. But it's nicely tapered, it's nice and thin, and it just beautifully puts on highlighter. I mean, and then I can put some highlighter on the tip, drag it down my nose. It's just literally so perfect for highlight. I think it's too small for blush. Personally, I like a larger brush for blush, uh, but definitely if you're looking for an inexpensive, fantastic brush, this is great. Uh, it's $3 on eyeslipsface.com. It's 100% synthetic, so if you're somebody that doesn't like to use natural hair brushes, these brushes are great. All the brushes in the e.l.f. studio line I find are really fantastic. So, um, yeah. That's the e.l.f. blush brush. Okay, next is the concealer. I'm trying to go through, you know, concealers and just different things that are kind of nearing the end of their life in my collection to, you know, make room for new stuff. And I re-fell in love with this this month, and it was, or it is, the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil. And this one is in DEA. It looks like this. It's tiny now because you have to sharpen it, so you need one of those sharpeners. I use the NYX one. It's got a tiny one and a big one for NYX jumbo pencils and it works great because it's the same size as a jumbo pencil. Um, it is probably the creamiest stick concealer I've ever used. The best stick concealer. It is so soft and creamy. Does not crease. It's really beautiful. My only issue with this is you sharpen it, you use it, and you can use it spot concealing under the eyes, around the mouth, anywhere. Covers redness. Is that it's so creamy that you go through it really fast. So it is on the pricier side, so I, I definitely won't be repurchasing it again unless it's just to keep in my purse, in my um, makeup bag, because day-to-day -day wear, you'll go through these so much faster than liquid concealer or another sort of um, more stiffer, waxier 
stick concealer. So definitely keep that in mind if you're looking at purchasing this one if, for a day-to-day -day wear. You're going to go through it pretty fast. All right, the next one is a mascara, and this one has been talked about all over YouTube, and I never, ever tried it. Uh, and now I'm totally going to buy the full size when this is done. Uh, this is a, just a sample of Tarte Lights Camera Action. Now, it is nothing to scream about with the wand. It is just a normal wand. See? But, girl, that formula? You can build it and build it. I'm wearing it right now, and I've got two coats on. And mind you, this has been on, like I said, since 7 a.m., but look, I can put it on after this has been on for like eight hours. Might not work out the best that I'm hoping. Um, and it just, yeah, it's not working out the way that it would if it was fresh. Um, it's the most fantastic mascara. Uh, just builds up beautifully, makes your lashes super full and voluminous, and makes you look like you have a million eyelashes. So. I really, really, really like this mascara. Okay, so I'm down to the final few things and I just have two lip products to show you. Um, other than today, which I'm wearing my go-to snob, I have been into, of course, cranberries and red. And I've got two here. I've got this one, which took me forever to track down. I swear to goodness, it just took me forever. Every single time I went into the drugstore to find it, it was sold out, so I was really glad I finally tracked it down. And it's a Rimmel lipstick, and it's 124 Bordeaux. And it's just this beautiful cranberry wine color. Now, it's a like a shimmery finish, which I'm usually not a fan of, but I don't even care. It's so beautiful. Like, I, I don't care. That's what it looks like. It's just this beautiful wine color. It's perfect. And it would look good on any single skin tone you could think of. And then this one makes me really sad. Because we're not getting them in Canada. I got this from a friend of mine, uh, Amy, if you're watching. Um, and her mom went to the States and Amy asked her to bring her back some. And she was nice enough to bring me back one because I'm really sad. Uh, it's the L'Oreal Lilac Color Riche. These right here. Um... Honestly, if you want to send me these, that would be great. I want them, and I want the matte ones, and we're not getting them in Canada, and it's a travesty. So if you love me and want to send them to me, feel free to do so. My post box is in down below. <laughs> Shameless, right? Um, anyways, I'm just obsessed. Like, I'm obsessed with them. This is the number 413, and oh my god, guys. It's the perfect red. It makes your lips look super white. The only thing is you have to use a lip liner because they bleed. After I, oh my God, I was so embarrassed. I got home from work, um, like I was driving, I got home and they were like starting to bleed and I don't suffer from bleeding. So uh, I was pretty surprised about it, but I would definitely suggest trying these if you haven't already. They're all over YouTube and they are as amazing as people are saying. Now they do have the traditional L'Oreal scent, so if you don't like that you might want to steer away, but um, they're amazing. They last super long, they're shiny, they're glossy, they're just a little bit sticky in all the best ways and um, I'm obsessed and I would love more, so you know, would be nice. Um, anyways, and then the last but not least, as always, is a perfume, and I'm obsessed. Obsessed, as always, with this perfume. Um, this is a new one to my collection, and it's uh, the Marc Jacobs Oh La La. Words cannot express how amazing this scent is. This has taken the place as my literal favorite scent in my collection. Above Chanel Chance Eau Tendre, it has taken place which is saying a lot because I didn't think anything was gonna was gonna be better smelling in my opinion than that and this is like I'll literally come in my room just to smell this um, I've gone through that much in about two weeks which is um, a lot and I'm trying to not do what I did with Chanel and <laughs> use it all up so it just uh, it's light and fresh floral and just a slight fruity scent to it, very jasmine. Um, 
it's a great daytime scent. It's like the perfect daytime scent. It's not going to offend anybody, overwhelm anybody. It's not going to, you know, because sometimes you wear scents that could offend people in the sense that it's like, whoa, girl, calm it down. Um, this one won't do that. I get so many compliments on this and it's my new go-to scent and definitely it's beautiful. Um, I would definitely suggest checking it out if you haven't already because it's great and it's my first Marc Jacobs perfume and I'm not disappointed. So uh, yeah, that wraps up my November favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.